Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I am Beauty Heathen, and my channel is generally dedicated to the um, exploration of paganism through the medium of cosmetics. Today I'm going to be doing a reading instead. Um, I had asked on Twitter, because people have been enjoying my doing readings lately, if they would like me to do one or two a week, and the majority of the votes went for two. Well, I didn't want to do two pick-a-card readings a week. I don't know, sometimes I might, but this week it's not going to be that way. Um, I know right now people in the world are really, really scared. And I would be lying if I said I wasn't nervous myself, so... Um, in an effort to try to get to the truth of everything, I wanted to do a reading today to kind of get some sort of sense at how bad this coronavirus situation is going to get, and try to get some information guidance as to if there's any way... <laughs> And hopefully that it's going to end sooner than later. <laughs> so, um, hopefully we're able to get some sort of answers on that today. And this isn't me attempting to get views or anything of that nature. I... I'm just trying my best to help as much as I possibly can in any way I can and while I'm not an expert in all things and I'm not an expert on um, um, <laughs> especially how things are looking right now in the world regarding this illness because to be honest, I don't really watch the news. I try to avoid it, especially as someone who's an empath. It can be very um, difficult and draining for me to watch and get through. So, I do get to see a bit of it on Twitter. So, it's not like I'm completely ignorant of what's going on in the world. It's just... I'm looking to see how bad this is going to get, and I always hope that any information I impart can be of assistance to people. That's all I'm trying to do. So let's give things a look. see what it says. This will obviously be a multi-dark deck reading. This isn't going to be the only deck I use. draw through more. Okay, well, one thing I'm seeing, let me take out the chakra ones for a moment. Let me try to sense out exactly how things pair up with this.
What's interesting to me is these cards all kind of group together and these group together here. So I do sense that there's some kind of misleading of the public here. Just trying to sense out what it is. I feel it has to do with government something. Something's either hidden or how this all started is hidden. This this virus obviously is a very strong virus. We've already been seeing that. We see power and firm foundation came up right away next to each other. So it seems to me that this virus is not over yet, obviously. We do see new cases constantly coming to the foreground. There is going to be more loss of life. I have the sense that this fertility belongs here. There's going to be several strains, not just the few that I've heard of at least. I don't know how many there have been announced that there are, but I don't like this fertility card having come up. I really don't because that means that this thing is going to be very widespread and very potent. I see that sacrifice came up and passion ignited. I sense that passion ignited has to do more with the medical community working to find a way to treat it or help prevent it spreading so bad. The truth card came up. I sense that some sort of information that may be government, somebody doesn't want getting out about this virus is going to come out. The things that are kind of reassuring to me and making me feel like this isn't going to be um, too horrifying, not that it isn't already, um, is the triumphant success and hope. So these two cards in and of themselves tell me that um, maybe we don't have to panic as much as especially the media is encouraging us to do so, which is another reason why I don't watch the news because they, are, they frequently are very alarmist when it comes to this kind of stuff. The sacrifice that I'm seeing here has to do more with people um, locking themselves away for self-protection and self-preservation. We've already been seeing this happening, especially in China, where I believe this had started. I think they showed a map yesterday or today of how the pollution in China has reduced greatly because people aren't leaving their homes. So I get that sacrifice has more to do with people being too scared to go out, which in and of itself should help um, prevent the spread getting as bad as it could be, if that makes sense. So, let me pull from the Energy Oracle. Let's 
see what comes up there. Mispronouncing that. That card was trying to pop out, so... Okay, so there is going to be some sort of money influence in here. Women holding a coin generally has to do with money. Um, angel of love and woman holding a heart. Usually that has to do with love stuff, but I'm trying to see how they fall in with this particular... situation. The contract in that just reads back to the government for me. Not necessarily our government or I'm not sure whose government, but someone's just not being honest about something. I can't shake that feeling. I don't know if I'm going to be able to determine what yeah see something's telling me not to try to delve into that so I have to listen to my guides when they tell me don't try it <laughs> so but there is something there journey obviously has to do with how it's spreading World card. The four main cards that are sticking out to me are these four. Let me try. I know I don't usually do this, but let me try. Taking these and I'm not looking at what they are, just putting them randomly back in the deck, reshuffling. And seeing what comes up. Come on, get in there. I'm not looking at my camera while I'm doing this, so if my camera's picking up what cards are going where, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> so, alright, let's get everybody back in there. Everyone's all harmonious. And let's try to do another pull. Oh, 
virus. Can I just say I feel really bad for the Corona Beer Company right now? I cannot believe people are holding off buying Corona Beer simply because they have some sort of misconception that they may get the coronor the coronavirus from the frickin' beer. Are you kidding me here? Interesting. That card just popped right back out again. Hmm. So folks, if you have that mentality and you're watching this, come on. Let's not be silly here. It has nothing to do with the beer. It has nothing to do with the beer company. There's absolutely zero reason for you not to buy the frickin' beer. And consume the beer. <laughs> if it's something that you like, obviously. Um, I just bought and was watching the uh, Terminator. I think it was Dark World. Just yesterday. Which, I have to say, it was a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. What is going on here? First I get the woman holding the heart, now I got the man holding the heart. Hmm. Happy family came up again. Anxiety has to do with what's going on with the public. Things are going to be okay. They're going to be okay. I get that with the son, happy family, man holding the heart. We got the woman holding the heart and the angel of love in the previous one. So I think in general, most people are going to be okay. And I think that's something that we're seeing right now anyway. Um, let me just look up this walking away card real quick. I'm trying to figure out how that fits into the story. Or what I'm trying to be told, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, in reading that, I get the sense that someone is going to leave their job. A government official? of some kind. I don't know if it's going to be ours or if it's going to be across the seas, but it's something that we'll likely hear about regardless. Indecision has to do more with the medical community because they're trying to figure out what is the best route to take. Contract. Still going back to that government thing. There might even be lawsuits as a result of this may tie in back to that truth card that popped up in the previous set of cards because I said that something is going to come out that the government doesn't necessarily want you to hear and again I don't know if it's our government or another government so I don't want you to think necessarily it's I'm not trying to feed into conspiracy theories right here but there is something that a government is holding and keeping quiet presently that is going to come to light and it may result in some sort of legal issues for them but all in all things are going to be okay and there is I do get the sense someone's going to lose their job or leave their job could be forced out and they just retire or resign rather than be terminated I guess you could say I'm not really focusing on the chakra cards in these readings right now because um, this virus is obviously affecting multiple people in many different ways. Let me see if anything else. Okay. What do you have to tell us? What 
help if I hold it the right way. I don't do reversals on oracle cards. One for some decks, it would be kind of ridiculous to even try because you'd be able to tell the card is upside down even before you reveal it. How long is this going to last? Let's see if the Monology deck gives us any kind of information about that. Record and your hard work is paying off, so that tells me that this I get has to do with the medical community. You and your loved ones are safe. Show the world the real you. Nothing will come of this situation. And you're very close to achieving your goal. Okay, I get the feeling this has to do more with the medical community. This isn't really telling me how long this is going to last. Um, but I get the feeling that the medical community is making some headway with at least combating the spread of it. Or finding some way of... Not necessarily curing it because there isn't really a way to cure a virus, but um, treating it more effectively to perhaps help people heal from it more. And I get nothing will come of the situation. I think it's not going to be as terrifying as people are afraid it's going to be. Like that anxiety card came up in the last cards I just pulled. I think a lot of it has to do with just fear. Quite honestly. And it, you saw the card right here. You and your loved ones are safe. So try not to panic too much. Could very well be that the full moon in Aquarius has something to do with timing. Show the world the real you. I don't remember the timing of Aquarius. <laughs> uh, it's easy for me to remember Leo, Virgo, and Libra because I'm a Libra. But I don't remember necessarily how all the other zodiac signs Excuse me. Fall in line. So it could very well be whatever month Aquarius is in is when we're going to see more of a decline in the um a decline in the spread, a decline in the um news following it because I get the feeling something is going to have headway around that time frame. Let me see. Oh, it would help if I put the cards in the right box, right? <laughs> there we go. Let me get in the box. Sometimes I feel like Happy Gilmore um get in your home. Don't you want to go in your home? <laughs> the sign when he's yelling at uh, scene when he's yelling at the golf ball. What can I say? I love Adam Sandler. <laughs> Oops. 
um, as somebody who's in the medical industry, I would be remiss if I didn't say, especially if you are in someone who is immunocompromised or if you are young or elderly, you may be more susceptible to this. So please try to take added precautions, especially if you have very young children or um, elderly, especially if there's someone who has any kind of issues with their immunity, um, to be careful and be mindful and just take extra precautions. Be very careful to wash your hands really well. And I don't know if you've ever watched any sort of medical programming or anything of that nature, but by wash your hands, I don't just mean like this, but you may want to go up the arm a little bit. Wash really well with soap and water and scrub your hands for two minutes, not, you know, wash a little bit rinse underwater, although that helps, but really try to, especially under the fingernails, if you have any, I just cut mine off, <laughs> but fingernails, um, fingers, hands, I desperately need cream on my hands because I've been washing my hands a lot, but, um, you know, just try to go up the arm maybe a little bit and make sure you get really well with soap and water. Try to scrub like this because remember there's these gaps in between your fingernail and your finger where it can trap dirt, it can trap microbes, things of that nature. So just try to be mindful of that. You can also go like this on your hand. It will help get soap in those spaces but yeah wash your hands <laughs> if you're feeling under the weather you might want to call out sick or wear a mask call of longing walk with wings taste before judging taking to heart and a rare bloom Let me see these for a quick minute. It would help if I looked at the right book. Wow. Sorry guys, it's been a very difficult past few days and I'm not entirely with it right now. All right, interesting. The call of longing. Um, this card talks about she longs to follow the brave little birds, but longing can lead us to places we shouldn't attempt to go, such as into the brooding clouds where we might weather the storm and break through it only to find what lies beyond is disappointing. So take caution, especially if you're traveling abroad. If your intuition or if reports are especially concerning for certain areas, just take extra precautions. You may want to change your plans. Um, walk with wings. I get the feeling that has more to do with the spread of it. But, let's see how taste before judging falls into it.
preconceptions often limit our willingness to experience new things which can be harmful enough. Let loose, however, they grow into full-blown prejudice, prejudice. Taste first, then decide. So, try not to be a bigot <laughs> in all of this. Try not to be prejudicial. If you see someone of Asian descent walking down the road, don't cross the street because you're scared that they are carrying coronar coronavirus. Come on. Um... This is about projecting um, reality onto others or projecting opinions onto others and a rare bloom. Okay, so from what I see of this one especially, this may be a new and a new virus that we've never heard of before, never dealt with before and all that kind of stuff, but I get the feeling that it's going to be some sort of mixed blessing in a way. I don't know if it has to do with strengthening our immune systems. It could. It could be, but it said that it's going to be one of those things where it's a blessing in disguise in some sort of way. I'm not sure how. That's something we'll have to wait and see. I think that's pretty much what this whole situation is, is a wait and see. So I hope perhaps this reading has helped in some way. I hope that it may have relieved some of your anxieties or worries about this virus and about the spread of it and everything of that nature. If there's anything you would like me to do readings about, go ahead and feel free to comment them down below in the comment section and I will do my absolute best to fulfill your request. So, with that I hope this reading finds you well and I wish you love, I wish you kindness. I wish you joy, I wish you prosperity, I wish you peace, I wish you good health, I, and I wish you brightest blessings, and until next time, blessed be.